last episode we defeated all of the team star we've only got to fight team star's boss who we don't know who it is yet but we've got to meet them at the academy however i am going to do that but in the, before we do i need to level up a bit i really want to get wet willy on par with these i really want to get my guys to at least level like everybody at least level 50 so that's only really hairy martin wet willy when you get them like five or six levels each and i think the good place for us to do that was when we were was it i think it was here was quite good wasn't it where we just came from huh i missed that even though I went to there. Oh no, was it here? I think this is might have, this might have been good actually. Where we were fighting those red things. Let's have a look and see if it was here. Level 50, maybe. Right, if they're level 50, I need to put him in front. Can he beat them? Twenty eighty five experience is not really worth it actually. Um What are these weak against? Indeedy. The battlefield got weird. Right, that's, this isn't very effective. This is really slow. There it was, them guys over there. We were fighting. I remember what we were, we were actually using whole bro. I've just, it's just, I've just remembered. We can kill these guys with one hit. Get a massive experience. Perfect. Right, we'll do this for a bit. Get some levels. Perfect. I wonder where we find level 60 Pokemon. Oh, Lucha. I've used the wrong move, haven't I? <gasps> I suppose I could do with some here help. Good. Wet Willy and... Harry Mott wants to learn the move she had called. Should another move be forgotten and replaced with it? Target faints instantly. This move is less likely to hit if the target less likely to hit the target if used by Pokemon other than icy types. The problem is it's got 30 accuracy. By the time you've even getting the odds to use that successfully, you're gonna be dead. Nah, let's leave it. This guy's flashing. It's flashing me. One baby, light it up. The experience we need to level up is getting insane. Come on, Holusha. Where are you? Oh, there's one of them things. We kill it and like one hit us so weak. I wouldn't mind capturing one of them green and redhead things.
What level is this? 51. Surf. Psychic? Try this. Oh my god, I can one hit them as well. Nice. Well, if you want to die, you can die. Oh, it killed me. This guy pulled the Uno reverse card. Ah, uh, what is he? Bobble. That's good against. This looks like a, a, a metal Pokemon. It's weak against fire. Feel the burn. I wonder if there's anything else to do in the world other than just like the missions which we've done. There's loads of these things over here. Give me your experience, son. The thing is that we've gotten this far in the game and we haven't really like grinded at any point. We've done a couple of things, a couple of times when we've just killed some enemies for free, but... Harry Moth's 47, Wet Willy's 46, this is going well. Don't run! Yeah, sometimes in these games you do need a little bit of a grind. Do you know what I think I might do? I might, instead of having this guy with the... You know how I bought the glasses to improve his special attack? I actually might... Use the one where there's a chance of always going first. Because I think if you can go first, it's... It can help a lot in some clutch situations. Three more levels to go, come on baby. Nearly there. Where do you mate go? I see you baby. Hold on, I want to try something out. Let's go back to the academy. I might buy some of those things that let us go first in battle. I think that's because we've got a team that's like, oh, they're all tanks and they're pretty slow. Even if we can get a, a chance of doing that, it's going to speed things up and make us a lot more effective. Now, where did we find that shop again? It was down here, wasn't it? 
bum 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 Battle items. It was... Focus band's also good. Let's the user move first occasionally. It may cause the target to flinch whenever the holder successfully inflicts damage on them with an attack. The problem with that is it only really works if you get the first attack, otherwise flinch doesn't make doesn't doesn't do anything. Or am I wrong? I'm gonna get quick claw. In fact, give me two of them. Whoa, not eleven. Let's buy three. Because he's super slow. But if we can make him go first. Right, same with them. Um, oh, bro. Who else is pretty slow? The girth's pretty fast actually. Why would we want him to go first? Crunch Hurricane Waterfall. Harry Mott. Bubble. Wet Willy. Oh no, he's leveling up. We need to leave that with him. I might try try it with the girth, because these are the ones we're going to be using all the time. Right, there we go. Let's see if it works. Oh my god, this map is devastatingly bad. Now let's see how often this works. We'll get to find out because we're using a slow boat to one shot these guys. Let's see if we ever go first. I should have really only bought one and tested it out, but I kind of bought three, but I mean it doesn't make any difference. Come to Papa. So it didn't work there, which is not a good start. It has it lads, it hasn't got a it hasn't got a good track record so far. One in three, maybe? I guess we'll find out. <laughs> That's never gonna work. It must have such a low success rate. Actual dog shit. I hate it when you get items that don't actually have a. Um, like the chance, the exact specifics. Is there a reason why I can't run from this? Oh my god, I can't be bothered.
I'm stuck fighting this little rat. So it worked there. It worked there. That's a hideous little creature. It worked like it's like got a ten percent chance of working. That's so bad. One in ten chance. Come on, El Luchador. Oh, where are you? They've all run away because it knows I'm farming them. Forty nine and forty eight, lads. Once they're at fifty, we'll continue. Poison jab. Who wants to learn that? Wet Willy, poison jab. May also poison the target. I like it. I'll get rid of recover. Recover is only going to help us if this is already. Like at a good level because it's under level we won't be able to recover faster than we can heal and we'd rather just use a healing item. I'll take that. Decent. Come on, two more levels then we'll continue. Hey, it worked! I haven't decided if it's good or not. Oh, this thing wants to fight, does it? <laughs> it's chopped to the throat, bro. Loads of random creatures here now. Right. Come on, El Luchador. Fight me. Harry Moth nearly leveled up. Right, one more level for each of them, and then we can go. I think I can kill all these with a fighter, can't I? Ah, oh, it worked. Quick claw. Okay, it may, it may actually be alright.
Right, he's level 50, we've just got to get that other one to level- What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a bear. A bear necessity. I wouldn't mind capturing a bear. Decent. Okay, so that I think it is probably about a 10% chance of propping. That in, in my estimation, my not very accurate estimation. Oh, it didn't quite kill it. Right. Come on, we're very close now. Let's have a shot of this bear. I want to see if I can capture it. It might be good. Level 49. Ursa Ring. I don't want to kill it. Good. Oh, it's rested. It's okay. We can do good damage to this now. And hit it with a ball before it wakes up. Shazam, baby. Get in the fucking ball, mate. Awesome. Let's see if it's any good. Ursa Ring. It's a normal type Pokemon. Scary face for high horsepower. No. It might be. It might be okay. Quick feed. Boost the speed stat if the Pokemon has a status condition. Nah. It might be good. We'll keep it in the box. Fate worse than death being stored in a poker box. Never to see the light of day again. Actually torture. That seems to be working quick law. Decent. Right, come on, is this the level up that we need? One more for Harry Mott and then we're good to go. Oh, evasion, baby. This is why slow bro is the tip. Bang. Right, everyone's at least a minimum of level 50. We're ready to go. Right, let's head back to the academy. Right. Now, how are we going to set up our team?
So what I always want to do is I want to try and get the poison. Right, you go first, wet willy. Body slam liquidation toxic spike. We're going to open up with toxic spike so it poisons everybody else. And then we'll see how it goes from there. Oh, right, he's got quickness on. He doesn't have quickness, but these gotta go with water for the girth. Now I'm gonna risk it with the quickness. Wet Willy. Can we give him something? I don't really need him to have the healing on anymore. Sorry, the extra XP. Special move? Is there anything that increases poison? Nah. Okay. Let's go. Let's find out who Cassiopeia is. What's up, Scott? Clive? Yep, that's my name. Actually, no. It's time for me to bring this little performance to an end. Allow me to reveal my true identity. Well, we already know who you are. You told us, like, the first time we met you in disguise. I do apologise for deceiving you with my disguise. In truth, the boy you knew as Clive was none other than Director of Narnia Academy. Mr. Club. Eh? That doesn't even make any sense. Why is he going on like we don't know who he is? Although now I think about it, I did neglect to keep my up my useful act on a few occasions. Okay, so he does know. That must have been what gave me away. I was so confused there, acting like you didn't even know us. Regardless, there was still one more astonishing truth I must reveal to you. The true identity of Cassiopeia. Okay, this is why we're here. The big boss of Team Star was me all along. Bullshit. Bro. You were on the phone to me. You were, sorry, you were stood in front of me while you were still on the phone to me. So how was that possible? And also, I thought the boss was supposed to be some kid that was bullied. I don't get it. I don't get it. Honest to goodness. When you heard Cassie appear over the phone, that was exactly, actually, a pre-recorded voice. I pulled it off using, er, uh, you know, one of those high-tech gizmos. I don't believe him. I think he's covering up for someone. Just like how one of the faculty members covered up for this whole thing. Now you know I'm the big boss, that means there's just one thing left. To do. Face me. Come on then, I think this guy's bullshitting. For some reason. Just like, you know, when we fought the last Titan, and that was a uh, bait and switch, I think this is the same type of thing. What the hell is that? Bro, it's a monkey with a Karen haircut. I'm Cassiopeia of Team Star. Whoa, I've got double eyebrows. What a banger. Right. Toxic spikes. Protect against physical moves. Well, that's okay, I think I want to poison it again. Poison job. Go on, baby. Oh my god, these guys are going to have infinite status effects, aren't they? One proc poison. Yes, it did. Excellent. Right, so all we have to do is just wait this out. Whoa. Dream Eater. That is bullshit. What should I do? Should I heal? What level is his Pokemon? 
Level 60s, 10 levels. I could just stall this guy if he's poisoned. 120 HP. 60 HP. Do what? Use this. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna wait out the heal, the 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 sleep. Oh my god, that's not really working well for me, is it? Am I gonna wake up yet? Right, if I don't wake up here, I'm not using any more potions. What the fuck, lads? Why, when we use sleep on some cunt, right? Does it last for one turn when someone... Oh, no, 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 it's, it's war off. It's war off. It's war off. When someone uses it on us, we stay asleep for, like, light years. Even though, like, light years are distance. That's how bad it is. Right. Now, he shouldn't be able to use... Right, now we can do some damage. I'm still asleep. It said I wasn't asleep. Lads, it said I wasn't asleep in my status screen. This game's actual dog shit. Oh, I was looking at the wrong thing. I thought it was next to my icon, but it's un underneath it. I don't care. Just just kill me. Just fucking kill me. Yeah. This guy's got some insane Pokemon. The first one, I can't even get past it. Okay, now what's going to be good against an orangutan? Oh, bro. You think? I think we could kill this in one hit with Psybeam. I want to try it. Oh, look, what's happening? My me, me, me mouth's falling out my face. Like it. Come on, baby. Oh my god, it's not very effective. What? What is this creature? What is it? Oh my god, it's gonna put us to sleep. Okay, that's better than nothing. It died, it died, it died. Does that mean... He's gonna give an... A bomb the snow. A bomb the snow. Right, tell you what, we'll go with fire. One bubble. Do you know if you switch out your Pokemon before it falls asleep, does it still fall asleep? Or do you avoid it? Oh, I get poisoned, mate. Oh, it's snowing, that's not good. Go on, light it up like a Christmas tree. Oh, feel the burn. Die of poison. Go on. Yes! Bro, these guys are feeling the wrath. And we leveled up. Poltergeist. A ghost Pokemon. What's good against ghost? Dark. Do we have any dark moves? I've got bite. The girth crunches better than bite. Against ghost Pokemon. I'm gonna try it. I don't know if this is gonna work or not. I'm not confident in, in what's good against Ghost. I think it's a Ghost anyway. Poltergeist, I would imagine. It's a teacup. Bro, how hard can a teacup be? And it's poison. Get wrecked. Crunch. Decent. Decent. Will or Wisp. Oh, I avoided it! Cause I'm a fucking Gyarados, I'm a beast! Oh, sets you on fire. 
See you later, mate. What's next? Hound Doom. Hound Doom. I imagine that's a fire type, isn't it? So we should be good, shouldn't we, with water? Come on then. It doesn't look like it, lads, it doesn't look like fire, does it? <laughs> it doesn't look like fire. Oh it is, it is. Let's go with I'm not risking missing that attack. I'm gonna go with waterfall. What the hell? Bro, it had Thunderfang. <laughs> cheating! The dog's cheating. This guy's cheating. He's poisoned all so he can suck himself. Right. Water. Whole bro could be good. Let's get Harry Martin on some of this action. Yeah, check out my Harry Mott. Aqua Jet. This move always goes first. It does no damage. Oh shit, we're weak against fire. Bro. So what is he? Is he electricity or fire? What what does he want to pick one? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna try and get this guy to die with poison. Is this guy's murdering my entire team? So if I get Bobble out, will that be good? Not very effective, all moves. Dump and Tantrum. Come on, Thickness. If he ruins, if he, if he ruins me here, I'm not going to be best pleased. Oh, I went first. It actually worked. Quick Claw. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. A moon, a moon gus. Don't even know what that is. A moon gus. I'm not sure. Let's sacrifice Bobble, because he can't really. These two are my MVPs. Let's sacrifice him just to see what this is. My lips on the floor, yeah, I can't believe what's happening. It's a mushroom. Is that on fire? Oh my god, get wrecked! Mate, use Toxic as much as you want, you're on fire. Oh, why is my Toxic stop working? Oh, I think this thing's going to be immune to Toxic in it. Because it's a plant. Right, come on then. Keep him in. Because we're poisoned, I'm not going to get rid, rid of that. Pet, I think I, Casapir. Quackavel. Oh wait there, this is water. We've made a really bad matchup here. Water. But we're not gonna do much damage to this regardless, are we? I might try and put it to sleep. Very well, it seems like she'll have to terrestrialize my Pokemon. If we can get this asleep, I'll heal. I'll heal Slowpoke. Slowpoke, I know they're both water, aren't they? Yeah. I'll heal Slowpoke and, and... Well, he fucking wanted it, so that, that's, a, that's out of the question. What the... Look, 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 it's doing a dance. Like, this, this thing is doing the salsa on my grave. Oh, bro. Or thickness. I've got Thunderfang. Oh my god. Oh my god, I've got Thunderfang. Taste the fucking rainbow, bitch. Fuck, 
can have some of this dickhead. It didn't even do much damage. Shit. It's gonna kill us. Water. I might try and resurrect Gyarados. I'm gonna die regardless. That's it's the only way. Yeah, because that was super effective. So if we just send water Pokemon in now, it, it can't do anything. Um, I think we've got Crunch and Hurricane, whereas that's got, I think Psychic's got more of a chance of doing big damage. As long as this doesn't kill us. I hope this doesn't kill us. I think we've got quite high defences, we might survive it, as long as he doesn't have any other cheesy moves. Ice Spinner. Okay, that's that's good. Oh my god, taste the fucking fangs, bitch. It's not very effective, but yet it's still one of us. Lads, I don't know if we're gonna be able to beat this thing. Oh bro, your time's to shine is now. Psychic better destroy it. Oh my god, we might do it! Go on. Light him up! He got lit up. Get wrecked. Psychic to the funny. This guy was pretty hard, like. Slow Bros, the MVP. How strong you have grown? 13 grand. Decent. Well now, Master Scott. It seems you have grown quite splendidly over the course of your treasure hunt. And here, once again, I must apologise. I'm not actually Caterpie- Mate, I knew. I knew it was impossible for you to be him. Though Clive and myself being the same person was no lie, mind you. Cassiopeia's true identity remains hidden, so why would you say that? You absolute paedophile. But I believe I can hazard a guess as to who they may be. It's the girl with the, with the backpack? This, that is why I sought to spare you from having to confront them in battle. Their sorrow should not be yours to bear. However, Cassiopeia has settled on a course of action and is determined to see it through. I do not imagine any ordinary student could hope to stand against them and win. So I challenge you to a battle to test your skill. If you had lost, it would have fallen to me to bring down Cassiopeia, such was my resolve. But it turns out you are as strong as you are kind. If anyone has a chance at saving the poor child, look at my, look at my, my eyebrow. Bro, this battle has really took it out as my face has fell off. It's surely you. As an educator, it shames me to burden one of my students with such a task. But please defeat Cassiopeia. Take on the big boss of Team Star and win. Leave it to me. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I leave this in your hands. You there. What do you think you're doing? Time. Ah, Miss Time. Pleasure to see you. It's no pleasure at all, Mr. Clavel. I come here to investigate reports of an illicit battle on school grounds, and what do I find? Well, hold on, lad. Right, wait there, I'm just getting comfy. What do I find? With the director academy myself facing up against our students, no less. What were you thinking? I know, if I could just explain, you see, this is a rather sad tale. Oh, spare me your excuses, reap worse than Stunky's behind. The Stunky's behind? Ahem. Remember the big boss asked us to meet them in the schoolyard after dark? I'm counting on you, Master Scott. You'll write a letter of apology to the students and faculty at once. And I'll be reporting this to the chairwoman on the school board, make no mistake. Good gracious, no. Anything but that. I implore you. So, no. It was a double bluff. All of our Pokemon have been healed, however, I don't trust it. 
What I mean by that is, I don't know if... Do you know what else I forgot, lads? Do you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to crystallise. We would have had the battle done sooner if I had done that. I right, make sure me crystallises, healed and everything. I think we're going with the same tactic. Poison first, and then just see where it goes from there. Is my face still broke? But my face is still broke. I don't know how to fix this. Right, hold on. I'm gonna save it there, lads. I'm just gonna like restart the game and see if my face is gonna stop falling off. See, see you here in a second. Right, I'm back. So I've rebooted the game. It looks like my guy's no longer having a stroke anymore. His face is back to normal. So let's go and battle Cassiopeia. We found out, we found out just the uh, that it wasn't the guy. We know it's not the guy. I still think it's the girl with the fluffy backpack. Confident. We've got to go and see in the schoolyard. Yes, it's it's blatantly obvious it's her. Question is, how do we get in the schoolyard? Last time we came here was right at the start of the game. I will try this. School store. Ah, it's got a store. School yard. There it is, baby. Right, come on then. Are we right? Of course we're right. Scott. Thanks for coming. This must be quite a shock for you. Well, not really. It was obvious from day one. The big boss Cassiopeia, they were both me all along. When I saw you make quick work of those Team Star lackeys outside school that time. Wait there, so when that happened we had an option of helping or not helping. I wonder if we didn't help would she say something different or would this even happen? The idea for Operation Starfall suddenly came to me. My skills let me get hold of as much LP as I want, so I decided to use that to tempt you into help me out. That's right because she's a hacker. After the operation started, I kept an eye on you as a member of the supply unit, and I had you battle the bosses on my behalf, all for the goal of defeating me and putting an end to Team Star once and for all. But still, there's a part of me that wants Team Star to live on. I can't just roll over and let you win without putting up a fight. This is the final showdown. Are you ready? I actually think she's going to be really tough. She's tougher than the guy we've just fought. I don't think we can win. I'll give it a good shot, though. I'll give it a gentleman's shot. I really keep you. The letter of apology missed time had me, uh, I mean, preparations took longer than expected. That voice. Are you Clive? Penny, so it was you after, uh, no, I mean, I mean, is that you, Cassiopeia? In the flesh. I have a task for you, Clive, if you will accept it. I want you to record what happens next so I can send the video to Team Star. They need to see the outcome of this battle for themselves. Okay, will do. Then allow me to introduce myself properly. I'm the big boss of Team Star, the name's Cassiopeia. No, Penny. Now bow down before the overwhelming might of Team Star's founder. Come on then. Bring it on! What the fuck is that? I won't hold back in this battle. Stay true to Team Star's code. It's got, oh, she's got six. Pokemon. Level 62. An Umbreon. I don't even know what that is. Stick to the plan. Toxic spikes. Right. Done. Now let's... We'll try and poison it. How much damage does this do? It's really trying to like stop me doing that. Okay, we might as well try and poison it. Psychic. Oh, it's a psychic Pokemon. Right, we poison it. I'm just gonna keep doing that. It doesn't seem to be able to do big damage. It's 
psychic. Let me heal. As long as we can see this out. I don't think it can... Yeah, it doesn't really do much damage actually. Because the lads are just poisoning this to death. What a banger. Right, it's going to die once more, right? Let's use a healing item. We haven't got many of these left. Okay, die. Get wrecked. Right, <laughs> one down. It's only gonna get tougher from here, I imagine. Keep the current Pokemon. Should we keep it? No, I think we should switch. Jolteon. Oh yes, definitely switch. Fuck. Electricity. Electricity's not very good against ground, is it? Come on, thickness. Witness the thickness. Is she going to have, like, one of everything? I think she is, you know. Get wrecked. Oh, and we went first with a quick claw. Oh, he used quick attack to cheat it. Oh my god, get wrecked. <laughs> what a... I didn't even get a chance to see what level that was. A Vaporeon. Vapor, wet. So we need electricity. Who has electricity? I've got electricity. Is water good against ground? I think water is good against ground. Okay. Is electricity good against ice? Wait there, I'm googling this. I'm not about to lose this battle. What is... Shit. So what do we need? It's, it's, a, it's a water type. But what's water strong against? It's... Okay, is it strong against ice? It's not... Okay. I think we should send out Harry Mott. Or someone, or another water. Do we have a water with electricity? We don't, do we? Go on the Harry Mott. I'll try it. We'll try and do our very best. Frost breath. Oh, this is a bad move. Although we will kill it eventually. Aqua Jet always goes first. What? Did Aqua Jet not work at all? Oh my god, how the fuck did that do that much damage? Okay. Guy's a pure cocksucker. Oh bro, should be okay. I wanna hit him with a psychic. Well, psychic's effective. Let's go. Come on, ho bro. Feel my mind. Oh, suck your high rule pump. I want to slack off because it's going to die of poison anyway. <laughs> Get wrecked. Get wrecked. 
Lift on. Fire. This is actually pretty easy because you can see what you're fighting against. Flame on! Get wrecked! Absolutely one ad. Fire Blast! 110 accuracy 85. Nah. It's not worth the, the accuracy and a chance of missing. Flareon, fire. Yep. Let's get the girth in on some of this action. Get a bit of the len. Dead. See ya. Sylveon. What the fuck's a Sylveon? A Sylveon. We'll just keep Gyarados in. I've got no idea what a Sylveon is. I can't fault you on your battle skills at all. Oh, it'll be a fairy, won't it? Okay, just keep going. What waterfall? That does decent damage. My VV power will crush you. Okay, that's pretty damaging. Get wrecked. The girth fell in love. I fell in love with it. But it died of poisoning. <laughs> yeah, this setup is excellent. Put them poison spores down at the, at the front and just let them do the business. It's all over now. Yes, it is. You got tortured. 15 grand we got. It's finally over, guys. It's done. We're done here. I think we should call it quits. Hold up. Are you saying we should break up the team? You gotta be joking. We got carried away with Operation Star. Now everything's gotten out of hand. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you round up a bunch of bullies in the courtyard and make a show of learning them some manners. We didn't even fight them in the end. We didn't do anything wrong. Indeed, merely did we declare our intention to battle tooth and nail should the villains persist. In their tyrannous, tyrannous oppression. T'was a bloodless victory, we assure you. Yeah, they didn't even send out their Pokemon. They just blubbered and apologised a whole lot. Our outfits must have spooked them good. But the bullies made a huge stink about what went down, and then they all ended up leaving the academy. Our plan backfired epically, there's no way we're getting off scot-free. I guess you're right, this little stunt might have put us up the creek. I'll fix this mess on my end, just leave it to me. What are you saying? I'm the one who started Team Star, I dragged you all into this, so I'll take responsibility for everything. Oh, noble and kind big boss, you cannot. Now that the bullies are gone, you guys should start going to school again. Oh yeah, and what about you? I can't go back. Why? There's no reason for you to stay shut in your room anymore, right? All I can say to you guys is, thanks. Even though we never met in person, you were also kind to me. Stop right there, baby. Why are you talking like we'll never speak again? I need to go take care of some things. Prithee. Prithee, speak to us. What is thy intent, oh, this twat again? Hey, big boss, answer us. Bye bye guys, thanks for everything. Thanks for everything Scott, and you too Clive. I'm glad I sh could see things through to the end. I guess this is for Team Star, and me too. Hold that thought Miss, uh, Penny. I'd like to check something with you first. Check what? Why resort to something like Operation Starfall if you're the big boss of Team Star? Wasn't there any other way to handle this? I tried telling the bosses that way we were done once before, but they still didn't quit. Why not simply order them to? Our code states that no one in the team has the right to order people around, 
I could ask them all to do stuff, but I could never order them. So it's back to the code once again. The bosses must have taken it very seriously. They did, that's why I knew I could use it to force Team Star to disband. Because the bosses would do anything the code required of them, even leave the team? Yes, and according to the code, they had to accept my challenge made to them. Thus the idea of Operation Starfall. Cassiopeia, let me ask you one last thing. What does Team Star know? What do your friends and the team mean to you? There, my greatest treasure. Splendid, thank you for appraising me of the situation, Miss Penny. What? Now, young lady, there's something I should very much like to discuss with you. Hey, quit it with the old geezer, Rack Clive. You're creeping me out. <laughs> He's a bit of a pedo like. Indeed, well, before we talk further, allow me to reveal to you my own secret identity. Director Clavel. Just as Cassiopeia was yours in disguise, the boy you knew as Clive was mine. But why? I needed a way to talk to Team Star on equal terms. Students do tend to shy from speaking their mind to the teachers, after all, much more so when faced with the director of the academy. Yeah, but where do I even start? Wasn't the outfit a bit much? Plus, I have some big feelings about that wig. Well, there's quite enough of that for now. Everyone, why don't you come on out? Huh? You're a big boss, long time no see. Momo. More like long time no meet, right? I mean, we only find out your real name just now. Melly? Oh, I can't even be able to read that. It speaks like an arsehole. Atticus? So I heard your real name is Penny. How have you been this whole time? Audie? We found you at last. You've no idea how worried we've been. Eri? Okay, gang. On the count of three. Hasta la vista, Cassiopeia. And hello, Penny. Now then, Miss Penny, and each one of you young bosses as well. On behalf of the Academy, I have something I would like to say to Team Star. You all have my sincerest apologies. Come again? As Director of the Academy, I let you down. My handling of your situation was a dismal failure. What? Well, I still don't. I mean, why? You all told me about your reasons for forming Team Star and about your subsequent actions. Ever since my first days as Director, all I've ever experienced of the Academy is an environment blessedly free from bullying. But now I know this peace was built on the backs of your hurt and anger and of course your immense courage in putting things to right and so I'll get straight to the conclusion the academy's order for team start to disband and my threat to expel those who did not obey are hereby revoked does that mean what I think it means indeed team star can continue to exist should that be your wish woohoo penny isn't that great now we can all stay together oh mine heart is giddy with glee but I betrayed all of you you mean Operation Starfall? Director Clavel told us about it. Far as we heard, you only went through with it to save us from getting expelled. You were just worried about us, right? Not like we'd ever chuck the team just because someone told us to, after all, ain't our style. I cannot even begin to imagine how you must have feared for us, Lady Penny. Sorry for making you worry, Bibby. We're all okay now. But even so... Hold on everyone, I've more to say- Oh my god, please don't have more to say. Jesus, wept these motherfuckers don't shut up for five minutes. As previously stated, the requirement for Team Star to disband has been revoked. However, there are still some unsettled matters. You protracted truancy, you brazen customization of school uniforms, unauthorized usage of academy equipment, reckless modification, disregard for school rules, no one cares. As punishment, you will all be required to engage in community service. Manage the STCs, Star Training Centers. It shall be facilities for cultivating Pokemon trainers' talents. I plan for the Academy to found them in collaboration with the Pokemon League. The idea came to me when I saw Master Scott battling his way through your bases. The bases construction as well as the battle tactics employed by the students in Team Star are remarkably unique and creative. There were dog shit by the way, but never mind. I would ask that you continue your team activities but henceforth as STC staff members using your former bases as training facilities and that's the sum of it. Does anyone have any concerns? No, sounds like fun. Ah, oh, my throat's like Gandhi's flip-flop. This may be a weird thing to say since the STCs are supposed to be a punishment and all, but you should totally join in too, Penny. It is true. We would most happily have you at our sides, my lady. We can go to school together too. That way, if anything happens, we'll be there to protect you. We were already talking about how great it would be to have both Team Star and school in our lives. This would be a sweet deal for us. What do you say? 
you guys. What do you think? Give it your best. No need to give you a response right this moment. Do take some time to decide. But now at least I think our little group should go their separate ways. Not to say I should break up Team Star after all, I simply meant it is time to leave. Master Scott, please stop by my office later if you would. Right, well, I will. Jesus wept. Okay. I'll tell you what we'll do. Are we actually... Oh no, we're in, we're in our room. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll call it an episode here. Everyone's healed up, so that's good. Call an episode here. When we come back, we'll go and see the director. See what he has to say for himself. Then, we'll go and fight this guy down here again at the lighthouse. Because we'll be strong enough to fight this guy. And then... There's nothing left to do. Except for... The Pokemon League. Oh, no, no, no. We'll also be able to do something else. This guy's going to let us go to Area Zero. So I don't know what the natural progression is. I might do the Pokemon League. Or we might level up a bit. We'll see. Okay, lads. Hope you enjoyed the episode. See you in the next one.